Hi Thanatos. Good to be back. Hey guys, welcome back to the Inner Recesses of My Mind. Today I'm taking a stroll down memory lane. Now, for those of you that aren't aware, I love the Persona series. 3 was actually the very first Persona game I ever played, especially when they re released it on the PlayStation Portable. I always wanted his MP3 player because I thought it was really cool. It's just a necklace with, head with the headphones attached to it because it's interesting but anyway persona 3 reload is something i've been looking forward to since they announced it i remember they were talking about doing a little bit of a renaissance for a lot of games in sega's catalog and since atlas has a lot of good games in this in their catalog now it makes perfect sense but ye probably not going to show my face that much because i look terrible right now but ye That's not suspicious at all. I arrived so late. I'd better hurry up. Iwatari dorm. That's where I'll be staying from now on. It should be just up ahead. Hmm? Like I said, last time I played this, it was a top-down cursor mover, because like I said, it was the PlayStation Portable. I think they had to cut a lot of stuff down just so they can get it to run on there, which I don't have a problem with. Better keep my distance. Looks dangerous. But yeah, then after I beat the... PSP version, I was able to get the actual PS3 version, but I got the updated version, which was PlayStation, it's not PlayStation, um, Persona 3 FES. It had some extra stuff that takes place after the main game, which, spoilers if you've never played this series before, some heavy stuff happens at the end, and I don't want to like spoil it just yet, but yeah. Ooh, my DLC stuff installed, nice. But yeah, long story short, I'm experiencing a phenomenon that will be explained later on. He was already gone. Guess this is it. I'm surprised the main character isn't freaking out. Like, why are there so many coffins around? Why isn't anything working? Where are the people? And why is there blood everywhere? 
But ye! Persona 3 reload. Hello? Welcome. Mysterious boy. You're late. I've been waiting a long time. If you wish to proceed, sign your name here. It's a contract. There's no need to be scared. All it says is that you accept full responsibility for your actions. You know, a normal person will be asking questions like, uh, who is this child? But yeah, let's just go ahead and get into it. Yeah, go with that. <laughs> Good. Time is something no one can escape. It delivers us all to the same end. You can't plug your ears or cover your eyes. And so, it begins. Again, why isn't the main character freaking out like, uh, Who's there? creepy child? How are you here at this hour? Don't Hi, Ikari. Me. <laughs> Wait. Hi, Mitsuru. I didn't think you'd arrive so late. My name is Mitsuru Kirijo. I'm one of the students who live in the storm. Who's he? He's a transfer student. It was a last minute decision to assign him here. He'll eventually be moved to a room in the boy storm. Is it okay for him to be here? I guess we'll see. This is Yukari Takeba. She'll be a second year this spring. Just like you. Call me Takeba. Nice to meet you. Uh, yeah. Nice to meet you, too. It's getting late. You'll find your room at the end of the hall on the second floor. Your things should already be there. Why don't you get some rest? No, well, I'll show you the way. Follow me. Yee. Room. Pretty easy to remember, huh? Since it's all the way at the end here. Um, do you have any questions? What huh, kid? What are you talking about? Come on, that's not funny. It doesn't seem to know what I'm talking about. Weird. You something on your way here from the station was everything okay you don't know I guess that means you're fine well okay don't worry about it then I'd better get going um, I'm sure you still have questions but let's save them for later okay good night the next day i feel more comfortable again with this because like i said it's been a, it's been years it's since i played three are you awake? good morning did you sleep okay i've been asked to show you the way to school are you ready to go great let's set out they remixed the music too the nostalgia this is, so is how real. we'll be getting to school every day. Oh. It's a monorail. Pretty cool, huh? I honestly love the ride here. It almost feels like we're flying over the ocean. Oh, by the way, our school's at the last stop on this line. It's called Tatsumi Port Island. Have you heard of it? The whole thing's man-made, and our school's smack dab in the middle. Oh, look! 
There it is now. Dude, this is so cool. Good morning. Well, here we are. Allow me to welcome you to Gekku Khan High School. I hope you like it. You'll be okay on your own from here, right? Let's see. I guess you should go see your homeroom teacher first. The faculty office is over there on the left. They'll tell you more when you get there. Oh, well, that about does it. Any questions before I go? Me? I don't know. I haven't looked at the classroom assignments yet. Hey, about last night. Don't tell anyone what you saw, okay? See you! Wait, why should I tell- Hmm... Forming in front of the bulletin board. Maybe I'll take a peek before going to the faculty office. And uh, classroom office is supposed to. My name is added on a small note on the side. Hmm, 2F. Hmm, Ikari's on the list. They'll be in the same class as ever. A few moments later. Knock knock! Oh, are you the new student? Huh. Hmm. You're a second year, correct? Wow, you've lived in a lot of different places. Let's see. Ten years ago, your parents... I'm sorry, uh, I've been so busy, I didn't have time to read this beforehand. I'm Ms. Toriyumi. I teach composition. Welcome to our school. Nice to meet you. Keep it cordial. Wow, such enthusiasm. Have you seen the classroom assignments? You're in 2F. That's my class. But first, we need to go to the auditorium. The welcoming ceremony will be starting soon. Come on, I'll show you the way. <laughs> and so, another new school year is upon us. I'd like each of you to remember the problem. If a job's worth doing, it's worth doing well. When applied to student life, this means... The principal continues with this speech. This is going to take a minute. <laughs> hey. Hmm? You came to school with Takeba-san this morning, right? I saw you two walking together. You must be pretty close, huh? What's the deal between you and her? Oh, and uh, does she have a boyfriend? <laughs> Nobody seems to know. Oh, really? I thought you might know, but I guess not. Wait, how close are you guys? Who's that? Someone's talking. Yeah, sounds like it's coming from Miss Toriyumi's class. Hey, shh, be quiet. You're gonna get me in trouble. I didn't do anything this time. Uh, after school. What's up, dude? How's it going? My homie <laughs> Junpei! You, like that? you are? Me? Call me Junpei. Junpei, Junpei Yuri. Yuri. I transferred here when I was a second year in middle school. It's pretty tough being the new kid at first, you know? So I just wanted to say, hey, see what a nice guy I am? <sighs> hey, 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 it's Yucatan! Didn't think we'd be in the same class again. <laughs> there you go again, acting like everybody's best friend. Try not to make him uncomfortable, okay? Is that what you talk about? What? I was just being friendly. If you say so. Anyway, who'd have thought we'd be in the same homeroom? Yeah, no. Funny, huh? Um, hello? Are you forgetting I'm in this class too? Anyway, gotta ask. 
I heard you guys walk to school together. What's up with that? Come on, give me the dirt. Huh? What are you talking about? We just happen to live in the same dorm. Why do people always jump to conclusions? Because it's high school. Everyone Have does that. Been spreading about this already? Now I'm worried. Hey, you didn't tell anyone about you know what, did you? Okay, good. Seriously, don't say anything about last night, okay? What? Last night? Wait a minute, don't get the wrong idea. Listen, I just met him yesterday, and there is absolutely nothing between us. Yet. Jeez, I have to go now. There's something I need to take care of for the archery team. You better not start any more rumors. Ah, who cares? No one takes rumors seriously anyway. She's so paranoid. She has hey, a reason to be It's your first yeah. day here, and people are already talking about you. Believe it or not, she's actually pretty popular. You the man. <laughs> well, here's to a fun school year, dude. You ready to head out? We can walk to the station together. Akihiko Senpai back there. Oh, check out the jocks on their run. Hey, you thinking about joining the club? Oh, wait. New members gotta wait a while before they can apply. Your stops at Iwatodai, right? Forms, man. Must be nice. Talk about living life wild and free. Well, I'm going this way, so see you tomorrow. Hey. So this music is really, really taking me back. Fresh child. Everyone's excited because school's starting, but I really don't care. Because the news has been really weird lately. I saw some policemen around here earlier. One minute later. Do -do -do -do. Welcome back. Hey, Senpai. How was your first day of school? Not bad. Yes. I see. Well, don't hesitate to ask your classmates for help if you need it. Oh, apologies. I didn't mean to keep you here. You must have had a long day. So get some rest. Forgive me, I'm just very nostalgic for this place. It's just, it's been forever since I've played this game. Oh, welcome back. Oh, hey, what you doing? Just around. Huh. Well, there's not much to say. Well, you're probably pretty tired after your first day, huh? Maybe you should go to bed early. Why does everybody keep telling me to go to bed? I am a, gr I am a grown high school man. I do what I want. And right now, I kind of do want to get some rest. I'm going out for a bit. Hmm? Have you seen the newspapers lately? There's a lot going on. I know. Severe cases of apathy syndrome are suddenly developing in people who showed no symptoms prior. It's been quite a topic of discussion. They say it's due to stress, but... Yeah, right. It's gotta be them. Otherwise, it's not worth my time. You have a one-track mind. Will you be okay out there on your own? Don't worry. I'm just getting a little practice. This isn't a game, Akihiko. Big homie! Much, much, much later. 2009, man, this goes back. Hmm? Why are people talking? Besides, just a ghost story, not a little. You're talking about that one girl, right? In the second year? She stopped coming to school and she just sits around staring at the walls all day long. 
whenever her mom tries to talk to her, the only thing she she says is, "It's coming. It's coming." What? Is it really how the story goes? Eh, whatever. It's probably all made up anyway. Hmm, some disturbing rumors seem to be spreading around the school. Oh crap! After school, class is ended for today. I should head back to the dorm. Do -do -do. Hmm? Bustling with activity in the afternoon. This is our new guest. Good evening. My name is Shuji Ikutsuki. I'm the chairman of the board for your school. Ikutsuki. Hard to say, isn't it? That's mm. why I don't like introducing myself. Even I get tongue-tied sometimes. Please, have a seat. I apologize for the confusion regarding your accommodations, but it may take a bit longer before you receive the proper room assignment. Is there anything you'd like to ask? Mm, why are you here? To welcome you, of course. You don't mind, do you? Speaking of which, Takeba-kun, have you seen Kirijo-kun by any chance? She's upstairs. As diligent as always, but it couldn't hurt to come down and say hello. Hmm. Is there anything else? Well, there are here. only four students in this dorm. You, Takeba-kun here, Kirijo-kun, and a third year named Akihiko Sanada-kun. I hope you all get along. Do you have another question? Hmm. The other night I saw... You saw something strange? Like what? <sighs> you were probably just tired. I wouldn't worry about it. Something doesn't seem right. Any other questions? No, I'm good. Excellent. Here's to a wonderful school year. Now, if you'll excuse me. I'm sure you're worn out from all these formalities. You may want to consider going to bed early. As they say, the early bird catches the bookworm. <laughs> Get it? Bookworm? <laughs> because you're students? Uh, Get out. Get out. If you can't tell, I don't get used to his lame jokes. I guess I'll head back to my room, too. Like the chairman said, you should get some rest. Transferring schools is a real pain when you're not used to it. Good night. Mm. I should listen to him and go get some rest tomorrow. Hello there. So, how's he doing? He went to bed a little while ago. He's currently fast asleep. Mr. Chairman, do you think he's... Well, let's wait and see for now. The dark hour is approaching. Come on, what do you say? I can't leave a pretty girl standing around in the cold like this. Mm, what do you think, Mayumi? I mean, I'm cool with it, but if my parents found out... They don't need to know. Just drop them a text. It'll be fine. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Uh, this sucks. I'm serious. I was scared yeah, shitless. Right. Nice story, though. That was the Bayside Rockers, brought to you by KJ. And that's all for tonight, folks. Tune in again next week, same time, same place. The program you just heard was sponsored by Kirito Electronics, bringing the future to you. The time is now 12 a.m. What's happening?
happening to me? Hmm. He's still sleeping. The dark hour occurs every day at 12 midnight. You could say it's the hidden hour. During this time, an ordinary person transmogrifies into a coffin and is oblivious to all that occurs. Then he must be... As you can see, he's retained his human form. He may be asleep, but he's definitely experiencing the dark hour. The only question that remains is whether or not he has the potential. Though, come to think of it, he must. If he didn't, they would have preyed on him by now. Scary. In any case, we should continue to monitor him for a few more days. Yes, sir. I feel kind of bad, though, spying on him like this. elevator of the velvet room. Hi, Elizabeth. Welcome to the velvet room. I miss the original voice for uh, Igor. He passed away, I believe, not too long after Persona 5 was finished. At least, if I remember correctly. I'm probably wrong, but either way. It's going to get some, take us some used to getting, listen to the new voice. My name is Igor. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. This is Elizabeth. She's a resident here, like myself. Pleased to meet you. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. Only those who have signed the contract can enter this place. That's the document that's under the door. From now on, you shall be welcome here as a guest in the Velvet Room. You were destined to hone your unique ability, and you will require my assistance to do so. I only ask one thing in return. Abide by your contract, and assume full responsibility for the choices you make. Since I've done this multiple times, I'm just going to go ahead with it. Hold on to this. Velvet key. Until we meet again. The next day. This feels like I had a strange dream. It's time to go to school. Who didn't have a flip phone back in the day? <laughs> so sleepy today. It sounds like this the best course of action is to sleep during class. <laughs> The adrenaline rush you get from dozing off right in front of the teacher can only can really spice up your dreams. <laughs> Don't sleep in class. Oh, you think so? Oh, you take things too serious. But it takes real courage to sleep in class, you know. And again, since I'm not listening to the lecture, I'm pretty much screwed later. Later. Oh, but we can we have classic lecture literature today. That means we're stuck in Mr. Nass's old Ikura. Eventually. I think right around here, I should be experiencing my first fight. Welcome back. It's pretty late. I don't need that to over very but please don't make this a regular occurrence. Well, in any case, you look quite tired. Why don't you go to bed early tonight? Why does everybody keep posturing me to go to bed? 
Let me explore. Oh well. Map. My room. Everybody says I should go to bed. I'm going to bed. Not because you told me to! Uh, I feel exhausted. Maybe it's because I haven't been getting used to living here. What's that old man from the dreams I had last night? And what was that about a contract? Oh. Mm. He's a little worn out. He went to bed without changing out of his uniform. Other than that, nothing has changed since last night. Mood. Hmm. Very interesting. Even those who have the potential tend to be unstable at first. Memory loss, disorientation. This subject is rather unique. He hasn't exhibited any of the common symptoms. But we're treating him like a guinea pig. Oh, don't look at it like that. The two of you are classmates, right? Consider it an opportunity to have someone your own age here. Besides, we need all the help we can get. I guess that's true, but still... Yeah, that's never a good sign. Akihiko, what's wrong? You're not gonna believe it. This thing is huge. Unfortunately, it's chasing after me right now. I'm almost back. Just letting you know in advance. So they active right now. Does that mean he's bringing that thing here? Mr. Chairman, that's enough observation for now. We need to prepare for combat. Uh, right. Be careful. Akihiko! <laughs> I'm alright. Get ready to be surprised. It'll be here any second. This is no time to joke around. Is it one of them, Sanada-kun? Yeah, but not an ordinary one. Ah! What was that? You've got to be kidding me! Mr. Chairman, please head for the command room. Takeba. Go upstairs and wake him up. Then escape out the back. But what about you two? We'll stop it here. You're the one who led it to us, Akihiko. So I'm going to have you fight. It's not like I asked it to follow me. What are you waiting for, Takeba? Go! Uh, okay. What the hell? That noise woke me up. What the hell? Let's check to see what's happening outside. Hey, I am not decent. There's no time to explain. We have to get out of here now. What's going on? Hurry! To the first floor! We'll leave through the back. Oh, wait! Take this, just in case. You got a short sword. Option. Right! If we go out through here, then <sighs> I've locked the door, so we 
should be safe for now. Huh? That's it. It was an inside, sweetheart. <laughs> It's here. <laughs> Wait. <sighs> Seriously, a normal person would be freaking out right now. Something's wrong right here. <laughs> Hi, Thanatos. Wait a goddamn minute, hold on! I love how he glitches back to Orpheus after he's like, what was that? <laughs> Everyone's like, whoa! What on earth was that? <sighs> Awakening power, or awakened power. Sorry, Mito and Grammar good. <laughs> We did slice it to pieces, so... We've, if I remember correctly, have Augie. One more. Watch out. 
monsters are gone. Yay! I don't feel so good. <laughs> <laughs> are you okay? Oh, come on! Oh, can you hear me? Oh, say something! If you can't come to the phone right now. <laughs> to see you again. Hi, Igor. You lost consciousness after awakening to your power. Ooh, I see that it was Orpheus who heeded your call. Very interesting. That was the power of Persona, the manifestation of your psyche. A Persona is a facet of your personality that surfaces as you react to external stimuli. You can think of it as a mask that protects you as you brave many hardships. The power of a persona is the power of one's soul. And the soul is fueled by the depth of one's bonds. As you form these bonds by becoming involved with others, your own social links will gradually develop. The strength of these social links will foster the growth of your persona abilities. Please remember this. Now then, time marches on in your world. I shouldn't keep you here any longer. Next time we meet, you will come here of your own accord. Until then, farewell. <sighs> oh, forgive me. After I did all the editing, I thought I'd just come and relax. Didn't realize I kind of drifted. <laughs> but if you're new here, why don't you subscribe? I have a lot of new content coming down the road. But if you've been here before, here's a random playlist of something I've done and the most recent thing I've done here too. Take care.